Shalom, shalom, giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rocha HaKodash, double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone, peace, love, salutations, and blessings to the house of David, which is the elect, the men, women, and children that are predestined to receive salvation and to be the first fruits of the kingdom of heaven, which is the kingdom of Israel. Yahweh is the heavenly father's true name in ancient Hebrew, who the world ignorantly calls God, and Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son the Savior, Redeemer of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. So I uh, just wanted to, you know, touch on what's what's going on, you know, staying on staying on our watchtower, okay, being, uh, you know, commentators, all right, and spectators of what's been happening, um, you know, witnessing the demise, the end of uh, Esau's age, all right, and then the ushering in of the world to come, all right, you know, being fulfilled when the elect is uh, sealed and Yahweh Shai, you know, uh, comes back and redeems us and destroys uh, Esau's kingdom. But as we're witnessing through the prophecies and through the signs of, you know, the things to come is the downfall of Esau's kingdom. All right. And he's seeing this. All right. And it, and it's causing him, you know, to obviously uh, uh, he's witnessing there is no more throne for him. And, and, you know, this is why he is in such a, a outrage. All right. Because if, if any man, you know, who sees his kingdom as a peaceful kingdom, all right. If any man would see his kingdom as a, a prosperous kingdom, they wouldn't be in they wouldn't be in outrage, you know, they wouldn't be, you know, uh, uh angry, all right. They wouldn't be feeling uh, uh violent, all right. If you if you believe that you have a, a peaceful, thriving kingdom, then you will be at peace. Okay, but that's why in the kingdom of heaven, there's not gonna be no they, they will learn war no more because the uh the king of peace will be on top. And then uh, the children of peace, all right, the, the city of peace will be established on top of all mountains. But <laughs> that is clearly not as the, what, the, what is the case happening right now with this whole, you know, election that's going on. It has people, you know, at each other's throats. So I got this um, clip right here. It says, man crashes press conference in Nevada. So, you know, Esau is just acting, you know, <laughs> I can't even say out of character. Esau is acting in character, okay, that brute beast that he is. All right, you know that that barbarian, okay, that that Esau is, you know that that basis of men that he is, and he's seeing that his his uh, throne is being put in, into the dust. So this is why he's coming out and acting as his true nature, which is a uh, you know a wild, uh, untamable, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, a harbinger of death. All right, so let's play this real quick. Supporters are venting their disappointment. The Biden crime family steal this election. This dude crashed a press conference held by election officials. Look, look at Esau. All right. Let's switch one back a little bit more. So like, yeah. Across the nation, Trump supporters far. are venting their disappointment. The Biden crime family steal this election. This dude crashed. Look at look at look at how Esau is acting, man. You know, and this was a uh, he crashed a uh, press conference that officials were having. Oh, that's the spirit. Look at the bottom. <laughs> oh, call all your hava by shooting out a shot. It says barbecue, beer, and eat them. All right, you can only see eat them right there, man. Hey, if that's not the spirit, man, <laughs> call all your hava by shooting out a shot, man. All right, but that's Esau right there. And, and you know, and his his looks can clearly show you. All right, he, you know, he's wearing a white shirt, clearly, and his skin is nowhere near the color of that shirt. All right, he is a red man. Eat him. All right, Adawam. Okay, but look how look how he's um, conducted himself because he sees that there is no more throne. So, as the scripture tells you in the book of Revelation twelve verse twelve, that what um, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell uh, there uh, ye that dwell therein, woe unto the habitants of the earth and of the sea for the devil, right, the deceiver Edom Esau, that old serpent, that dragon, right. Shall come down upon you with great wrath. And you see the wrath that's in this man's eyes. But even though this is talking about the actual elites, but you know, even the lower level, level Edomites feel this wrath, man, because they feel their throne is being thrown, is their throne is being thrown into the dust. All right. There is no there is no throne. Okay. It says what? Uh should come down with great wrath because he know he has but a short time. All right, but they, that's the spirit right there, man. It says uh barbecue, bear, eat them. All right, it's probably the whole word is probably freedom, but hey, the Lord just gave us a little, you know, gave us a spiritual treat right there to let us know, man, that hey, the Lord is always working, man. Call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The press conference held by election officials in Nevada. Less trend is in Philadelphia, where passions are running high. Here in 
Philadelphia at the convention center. The ballot counting continues for the third day. Outside, loud crowds supporting Joe Biden. Donald Trump have gathered. They are ever mindful of the fact that this state could decide the presidency. What is going on in this city? What are you hiding? Open up the doors. Let us in. Let us six feet away so that we can have a free and fair election. 150 loyalists converged on a count center in Arizona, many of them armed. They want every vote counted. But in Detroit, these pro-Trumpers want the counting to stop. It's down to Pennsylvania, Nevada, Arizona, and now even Georgia. In New York last night, a pro-Biden protest turned violent. This truly shocking confrontation is sparking outrage today. A hey, look at that. And that chick, like, she's like a Elamite, all right? She looked like a, 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 um, a East Indian. She just spit right in this officer's uh, face, or which, which appears to be an Edomite. So what did the scripture say about that? That the nations will narrowly look upon you, man. Okay, because Esau is, is the is the issue, right? He is the cancer of the earth. Yeah, of course, these other nations also have played their part in our uh, downfall, and they're most certainly going to be uh, recompensed. But they they are drunken off of the, the wine, all right, of who? Of, of Babylon the Great, which is controlled by who he saw Edom pursuant to Psalms 137 okay the daughter of uh, the daughter of Babylon and the, and they said well remember Edom who said race it race it but you had this you had this uh, Elamite woman all right looks to be a young young damsel just spit in the face of a cop I'm gonna show that part again you see the violence here pro Biden protest turned violent <laughs> this truly shocking confrontation is sparking outrage today <laughs> A 24-year-old woman was taken into custody for spitting in a cop's face. <laughs> I thought that was absurd. I thought that officer maintained such great composure. He even pulled up his mask because naturally, when you're speaking that close to a person, you're kind of spitting on them anyway. Now this is so this he, is why he's all going to go all out, man. You know, it's going to be on you, you Jake's, so obviously, all right, because he has that perpetual hatred for you. But as the scripture says, man, it's going to come upon the whole world to try them. All right, all these all these um, heathens that are here in Babylon that think that they have this type of freedom to do shit like this, understand that Esau is going to come down and <laughs> ravish you, you, uh, you people, man. All right, from you Israelites to you heathens, hey, to his even to his own people that is uh, uprising against his uh, against his authority, authority, man. All right, the scriptures does say that there was going to, the uh, Satan house was going to be divided. But this is this is shows you that Esau has lost his um, his stance as being looked at as the most respected and the most admired and the most uh, uh, reverenced person. Man, these people don't give a damn about Esau, and why is that? Because there is no throne, and Esau is realizing that, and that's why they're they're lashing out. That's why there's so much chaos and violence and and just hell, you know, breaking loose, man. You see. Hey. A 24-year-old woman was taken into custody for spitting in a cop's face. I thought that was absurd. I thought that officer maintained such <coughs> great composure. He even pulled up his mask because naturally, when you're speaking that close to a person, you're kind of spitting on them anyway. So he just pulled his mask up and sat there. I thought it was absurd. There's more backlash today for the pollsters who never expected the election to be such a nail biter. Completely missing the look at mark. It, look at him. I mean, this is pathetic. You can't. You hear this? I'm sorry. You know, it's a lot if we keep stopping, but I want to just harp in on these things, man. These people, they're saying that their presidential election, which is the you know the the pinnacle of the obviously the highest seat in Babylon, uh, as opposed you know face wise, because we know that who's really pulling the strings behind all these closed doors, but. They're looking at these elections as something that's supposed to be honorable, something that's supposed to be, you know, uh, democ you know, uh, uh, democratic, you know, uh, de de you know, represents democracy and all these things. And they're saying what? It's pathetic. All right. These Edomites are fed up with, what, with what's going on in their society. All right. In their kingdom, because they're seeing their even though they might not say it verbatim, but this is the feeling that they're getting, man. And we obviously have that spiritual eye to see it, that they're witnessing and they're sensing that their throne is being casted down, man. 
as Yahweh Shah said, that he beheld Satan fall as lightning from heaven. Okay, and then it's been and it's happening really quick, man. Esau is becoming, especially the Edomite man, but even Edomite women too, because of this whole Karen's, you know, these things like that. You know, the woman's supposed to be the glory of the man, but even Edomite women are being hated because of how they're conducting themselves, because they're lashing out, because they're seeing that their throne is leaving as well. You know, so the the the, the glory of Esau, all right, the, the the glory, which is supposed to be the woman, all right, they're even being despised. You know, uh, because of all these Karens and, uh, and and all their um, and the way that they've been conducting themselves for the past couple years, man, it's all everybody is pointing the finger at you, devils, man. All right, everybody's narrowly looking upon you, devils. All right, and you're seeing it, and it's hurting, and you even narrowly looking upon yourself, seeing how being divided. You got one side calling the other side, you know, uh, the the evil. All right, and I just had you know I, I work with a, a lot of Edomites. You have, you know, this one Edomite, he basically damn near depressed because Trump is, is not winning the election. All right. Um, he's damn near, uh, uh, basically, he, he, like I said, he, he's depressed, man. Um, and he had another Edomite man talking about that, um, <coughs> that uh, he just he's just fed up with everything that's going on. OK, because it, it's just all just coming to shit, uh, shit, uh, shit show, it's like a, a shit show. So he, he just wants it to be done with. So these, like I said, man, Esau is realizing that it's no, it's no more throne for him, all right. But of course, he's not going to just you know walk off into the sunset and just give it up. You know, he he he's going to do what he does, and and he's going to come down violently, man. Okay. Any worse, Florida, Ohio, you name it, all across the country. Pollsters don't know. <laughs> the late night comics unleashed the on the pollsters. Why did we believe the polls again? Don't trust any industry that calls you on your landline, okay? <laughs> so, yeah, man. So, I just wanted to play that. Let's get a, a couple scriptures, not too much. Close it out. Uh, this is Ecclesiasticus chapter 10, verse 8. It says, Because of dealings, injuries, and riches got by deceit, the kingdom is translated from one people to another. And that is what is happening. This kingdom, the rulership, the dominion is being translated from one people to another. And as it is written that Esau is the end of the age and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. You know, as Esau is unraveling and and, and crying and, you know, just, <laughs> just, just being brought down low, what is happening? The Lord is closing up the breaches of the house of David, man. We're, we're, we're crying out to our father. Are we remembering ourselves in the land of our captivity? Are remembering that we are the the, the the true sons of the power, your Yasharala, remembering the name of, of our father, the name of his son, rehearsing the righteous acts, keeping the faith in sincerity and in truth. All right. And this is why all these things are happening. It's a simultaneous uh uh action, man. The 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 action of Israel waking up is causing a reaction of Esau going down. All right. And then Esau is going down. Why? Because the re the, the way his kingdom was established was through nothing but a, a wickedness, man, because he got his kingdom from Satan, all right? Just like how uh, Satan told told Yahweh Shai that all these kingdoms was given unto him to give it to whom whomever he will. And who did he give these kingdoms to? Who is the pinnacle, you know, who is on top right now, all right? Who rules this world? The earth is given into the hand of the wicked, right? So Satan obviously gave this this dominion, this this rulership to a, end of, to a nation of people. And who is those people? It's Esau, and, all right? And, and what is his main main uh uh country it's babylon the great and, and that's all set up through the spirit because the lord is is puffed up puffed up esau through babylon the great to destroy this place meant to show the power of yahweh bashim yahushai and to show his mercy upon israel and his wrath all right upon the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction okay let's keep going we jump to verse 13 it says for pride is the beginning of sin which esau has <laughs> the the most pride ever all right, Obadiah, the first you know, chapter tells you that that uh, the pride of his heart has deceived him. It says, for pride is the beginning of sin, and he that hath it shall pour out abomination. And therefore, the Lord brought upon them strange calamities and overthrew them utterly. Yeah, and this is a strange thing. You got people saying that they would never think in a million years that this nation would become so divided and so hateful towards each other. All right, over over everything. So these are strange calamities because America never experienced something to this great magnitude uh, before. That's why they've they've always been said uncertainty and unprecedented times. All right, verse fourteen it says the Lord cast down the thrones of proud princes, Esau. All right, <laughs> and set up the meek in their stead, Jacob. 
It says the Lord have plucked up the roots of the proud nations. Esau and all these other nations, man. Hey, and it's a beautiful thing to be able to understand these things. As Yahweh I said, blessed are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. For many great kings and, and prophets, you know, uh, wish to see these times, man. So we are seeing these things. We're seeing Esau being plucked up. All right. We're seeing his, his throne being cast down. All right. As it is written in Isaiah 47 chapter. Sit down in the dust, O daughter of, of Babylon, uh, uh, the daughter of the child deeds. There is no throne. All right, it says, and planted the lowly in their step, in their place. Going back to what the kingdom is translated from one people to another. Verse 15, 16. The Lord overthrew countries of the heathen. So see, the Lord is the one that's dealing in the kingdoms of men. These people thinking that, oh, they just got to get Biden in or this, this, and that. That's the foolishness. That's the vain hope of you Israelites, man. Are you still trusting in? The, the covering cast uh, uh, of Egypt, man. Because no matter who the Lord puts in, in place, the prophecy is still going to continue. The prophecy of this place, Babylon the Great, being, being destroyed. All right. The wicked, the ones who have not repented of Israel being destroyed, that is still going to come to pass. Esau coming down with that great wrath, that is still going to uh, 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 come to pass. And the Lord can use Esau, I mean, Biden to do that. You you people looking at, uh, looking at Trump as being... What I've heard a lot of people say, the Antichrist, <laughs> guess what? Biden is the Antichrist too, man. This is how foolish you people are, man. And that's why the Lord said, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. All right? You still look into your enemy for some type of aid instead of looking to Yahweh, Bashim Yahweh Shah. It says, the Lord overthrew the countries of the heathens and destroyed them from the foundations of the earth. He took some of them away and destroyed them and have made their memorial to cease from the earth. And that's exactly what's going to happen to Babylon, all right? And then ultimately, that's what's going to happen to America, uh, to Esau. Esau, after, after a thousand years, his memorial, his memory is going to cease. You're not going to remember what an Edomite is, man, okay? There's not going to be no statues, no relics, no books, no no buildings, no paintings, none of that, man, all right? Edom, Esau, Edom is going to be obliterated, man, and this is why they are acting out like this because deep down in their spirit they might not be able to you know these regular edomites they might not be able to tell you why but their spirit it, 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 it it's burning because they know that this is their last hurrah this is it for them they have nothing else it's over all right and then we rejoice in that man and you know speaking upon your your vain hopes get the scripture real quick ecclesiasticus 23 verse 5 turn away from me vain hopes and con and con Cupensence, and thou shalt hold, and that, and thou shalt hold him up that is desirous always to serve thee, and that's what we pray to the Lord, man. These vain hopes of you know, two thousand twenty one is going to be better, and make America great again, and Trump is going to be better. That's all. I mean, not Trump. Biden is going to be better. That's all vain hopes, man. It ain't going to happen. The will of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai will be done, man, and that's what we, the hopeful elect, rejoice in. Point blank. Period. All right, let's uh one more. Let me get this in Ecclesiasticus. Um uh yep, yeah, uh, Ecclesiasticus 33, verse 1. There should no evil happen unto him that fear the Lord, but in temptation, even again he will deliver him. Yep, yeah, why? Because we know that the hour of temptation is coming, but we also know that the Lord will deliver us, will keep thee, as Yahweh Shah said. Because we have kept the word of his patience, he shall also keep thee from the hour of temptation that shall come upon the whole earth to try them. So it's going to come upon these heathens, these other Edomites, all of it. Jacob's trouble is going to come upon the whole world. But who the Lord is only going to rock with? Who is the Lord only going to deliver? The ones that fear him in, in spirit and in truth. So no evil. Evil is going to happen on this earth. Evil, great evils and great mornings and great death, as it is written. But it's not going to come near nigh unto our dwelling, man, unto the hopeful elect, the, the house of David. And he will deliver us in these times, man. So that's why we uh, are hasten these days to come, all right? We hasten to Jacob's trouble. We hasten our, our temptation because we know what the, we see afar off. We see what the end of, uh, what the end thereof is, man. As it is written, better is the end of the thing than the beginning, okay? So last scripture is the book of Ecclesiasticus chapter uh, 36. Verse uh, 7, it says, rise up indignation and pour out wrath. Take away the adversary, Satan, Esau, all right, and destroy the enemy, Esau, Satan, and these other heathens, all right, hey, even in the undesirables of our people. 
says, "Sake the time short," and that's what we ask him, Lord, man. We ask him, the Lord, to what? To to uh to shorten the days for the elixir. It says, "Remember the covenant, the covenant of who? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and let thy declare and let them declare thy wonderful works. Let him that escapeth." By be consumed by the rage of the fire, and let them that perish, and let them perish that oppress the people, smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of of the heathen, starting with who Esau, and that's what the Lord is about to do. He, the Lord is going to let Esau think he's about to get his uh, rocks off, okay, thinking that he's about to fill his belly, but really that's the Lord setting him up for the ultimate. Destruction, man. The ultimate counterpunch. There's gonna be that haymaker that's gonna knock him out and completely. All right. He gonna smite and smite and sunder the heads of the rulers of the of the heathen. That say there is none other but we. And that's Esau's mind. When you read in the book of Isaiah, the 14th chapter. All right, it says, Gather all the tribes of Jacob together. All right, speaking about the Israelites, the elect from, from the 12 tribes of Israel, who are the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Seminole Indians, and their descendants. That may look like the other nations and speak the tongues, but have repented and have been called from the beginning to receive salvation and inherit thou them, the first fruits, as from the beginning. So, you know, hey, so we see in Esau's, his throne is, is being removed and it's not going to come back, man. All right. And this is a beautiful time that we're living in. If you are in the know, if you are watching and, and as well as praying as Yahweh Shai said to do. So, you know, with that, Lord willingness edifying unto the elect, call Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Rakakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.